Hey guys and welcome to part 2 of my Fast RMX Let's Play. Today we're doing the Thorium Cup and I'm going to use this car, the Mech Giver or Griever, I don't know how to pronounce that, um, as it has a really high boost and that looks like it might be fun. Giver. So let's see how we can do. Mid Pacific, as that guy just said. I just go with Moala. Three, two, one, and off we go. And I crashed into the guy in front of me, so that wasn't great. But hopefully, we can get back near the front. This car seems a lot wider than the other one was. I didn't really look at the other stats then, other than the really high boost. But hopefully, we shall should still be able to do as well as we did last time um, this is quite a cool track so far with that underwater section in the big tunnel Ooh, I don't want to crash into them I'm not sure what this track really is I think it might be a port or something are there any ramps there's the colour things there we have a lot of boost right now, which is like the thing our car said it's good at, so maybe that's why it lasted so long. Ooh, I just missed a panel though. Well, I didn't miss it, but I was the wrong colour for it, so it didn't help me at all. Now let's go round the water, as I don't think it's faster. Right, there's an orange panel there, and we're almost in second, there we go. Trying not to hit these containers. As since you're going so fast, it is actually fairly difficult. As you get up to like almost 700 miles an hour, I think, when you're boosting. Almost 800 actually. Ooh, and I just turned the wrong way. Well, that didn't really affect us that much. Doing pretty good, I think. Oh. At least it feels like it, because we're constantly boosting and going really fast, which can't be a bad thing. And I remembered which colour the panel was. I just missed a lot of those orbs, but oh well. We're still in first, so it doesn't matter too much. Can I get them? Nope. I almost crashed there, that would have been bad. But we got first, so it's fine. And on to Kenshu Jungle, as the commentator just said. There we go, I'm going to switch to blue. This track seems like it may have multiple routes. Or at least I feel like I can remember that from playing the game ages ago whenever I last played it yeah there we are it does I hope this is the faster route that I've picked I'll go the other one next lap if I remember and we can see which one's which one feels faster I don't know which one is actually faster but as long as we're in first or second I'm not really bothered ideally first ooh and that guy just went flying past us somehow and I just missed two boost panels almost which wouldn't have been ideal can I get that one there? right let's go left this time uh, this definitely seems the slower way to go although that boost maybe speeds us up, speeds us up I think that way would be get better to go if you already had some boost but I'm going to stick to going to the right side as I think that will be much better for us we've almost caught up to first though and we have now and we're in first ourselves so this is going quite well I'm just going to stick to this side yeah I think that works better than trying to get all three uh, where's all the boosts gone? the orbs that is yeah, I think it's better to go this way. 
because you have to save your boost for quite a while to still have it at this point and I don't really see the point in doing that which is why I'm not doing it and I think this is the last corner yeah it is so that's us across the line in first once again And on to the final track, Antarctica, as the commentator just said. This one looks like it will be quite fun. I think there's a panel up there. Yeah, there is. This also looks like it could be difficult, so I am going to have to be careful not to crash into things. But we're doing fine so far. Although we are a little bit behind, and I'm not sure why or how. Oh, that didn't go well for us. We're now in 8th, 9th, 5th, 9th, 10th. Oh dear. Hopefully we can get back up to 1st. Otherwise we might not even win the entire cup overall. And I've fallen off again. And I'm quite far behind now as well. This is not good at all. Because 1st is probably like half a lap ahead of me. It's because I can't see because the car's so big when I jump, so I think I'm going to have to stop boosting when I'm in the air so I can see better what I'm doing because crashing is not ideal, obviously as it has put us all the way from whatever place we were in to 7th which, I mean, it's not as bad as 10th which we were in a few seconds ago but it's not even slightly ideal was a jump here, I think this is the first jump that I failed. Yeah, it is. And then I failed one here as well. Almost failed that again. That would have been terrible. Made that one, but barely. I can see third, and in the top three is, I think, the worst I can get and still be in first overall. Because I think we're on the third track. And I just need, yeah, it's the final lap now, which is good. Um, I think I just need to get a podium finish on this track, and I'll get still get first overall. Because if not, I will eventually come back to this and do it again. Because I reckon we need to do that to 100% complete the game, which I would like to do. Although, who knows how easy or difficult that will be. Hopefully, on the easier side. But yeah, we're doing okay for now, considering we were in 10th a lap ago. We're now in 3rd and catching up to 2nd, and I can even see 1st. So, no, I'm not going to catch up. Still, 3rd's not the end of the world. Now, are we still in the top 3? Ooh, we're still 1st. I didn't actually think we'd still get first. So that is very good. Means we don't actually have to come back and redo this cup, which I thought we might have to do. And we unlock, after it tells us that, um, the Argon Cup and the Kamigori Racing Machine. So that is 5% of the championship complete. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.